Okay, Blaine Gray of Class for Beginners, and today we're going to be talking about, about the Rafina X skin, which is their version of similar to the Octospeed skin. Now, have you ever used it before? It's going to be brand new, so I'm just going to throw some plaster on these walls. And the idea of today's video is to highlight whether it's any good. We're going to see if Ox are in trouble because, I'll be honest, the spatula looks great. It's got interchangeable blades like the Octospeed skin, which is a revolutionary new technology from Rafina now. So that is them definitely competing with the Ox company. So I'm going to get this plaster on. We're going to get it on as flat as we can, but we're just going to use it pretty much straight out of the box. And we're going to walk through all that in today's video. So we're going to whack this on. And once this first layer's on, we're going to give it a whirl. So let's crack on. So this is it. This is the Rafina X skim. Now, Comes a safety guard, which is actually admittedly a lot better than Ox's. It clips on and off, and it stays on. Now let's quickly look at the blade. It's plastic, so this is their equivalent version of the Speed Skim ST. It's got a nice angle at the top, so when we're reaching towards the tops, it's going to be nicer to get in. It's got a nice rolled handle, so when you're grabbing it, you're well out of the way of the plaster which is a pretty good idea in my opinion. And it doesn't have the ridges like the Ox Speed Skim does. Now if that's good or bad, I don't know. Let's find out. I've never used this on skim. So I'm coming up. Now bear in mind, this is straight out of the box. I've used it once. Now it's leaving a few little lines, but to be fair, first time using it, that is expected. So far, it's feeling pretty good. Very good. It's not leaving many lines at all, considering. And the handle is great. It's just, because my hands are here, I'm tucked away, I'm not near the skin, my thumb's not touching like it can with the X-Speed skin. You know, it's generally, so far, looking good. Now again, this is the first time using it. Not touched it. Not touched any blades. That is pretty cool. <laughs> Let's keep going. Now this wall has been, this wall was a bonded wall and it's actually pulling in very fast. But even with that, it's still flattening the plaster. So it's tough. You know, it can really hold its own weight and it feels like the blade's a bit sturdier in your hands. It's not as flimsy it seems. I think I need to adjust the edges of the blades a little bit because it is leaving a few lines behind but to be fair I had to do the same thing with a speed skin so it's expected you know I'm pretty impressed I'm not gonna lie okay second coat applied we're ready to flatten again now this is second flatten the second time using it on skims coming up to the top The only thing at the moment is the lines it's leaving. But again, I can't be too harsh on them because every new tool does the same. But I do like that the edge has an angle. It means that when we're following along the top, we're not disturbing. And you can actually get right to the tip and the corners of the rooms without worrying about trying to reach in. And on an official first use, the handle is it's nice. Your fingers aren't in your way and there's actually a nice little thumb guard there, can you see? Nice little spot to put your thumb, which, you know, when you are plastering, you don't want your hands to be in the way. And I must admit, it's flattening off. It's nice. I think there is a definitive flaw with the speed skin. One, it's ergonomically not perfect. It's, you kind of, it's clunky, your hands are in the way. There's no way to really put your fingers and thumbs. And I think the grills on the speed skin actually create more problems than what is worth. Because I find, if you're not careful with the speed skim, you can get tiger stripes. Now this, with being a flat plastic, it doesn't seem to be leaving that rippled effect on your walls, but you can sometimes get the speed skim. It's not doing that. Now what I'll do is give it one more flatten and I'll show you. So these are the lines it's leaving. Now that's hopefully going to go with time. It's obviously wearing the tool in, but you can see there's no ripples. It looks flat. And I find the speed skim, because of the way it's built with the plastic, it can leave 
a tiger stripe effect. And I think the speed scheme, if you're not careful, can be a bad culprit for that. This seems to be erasing that. So, I mean, Ox could be in trouble here. <laughs> That's a lot coming from me. If you watch any of my videos, I love the speed skins, but this is looking pretty good. Like I said, this is a bonded wall and it is pulling in quite stiff. Now, the great thing, because of the build of it, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because the blade's quite deep into the frame, it feels stiff. The, the speed skin can feel a bit flimsy sometimes and it can rock in this frame. There's no rocking with this. It's completely solid to the end. When I'm moving off, it feels solid. So coming up, I actually think it's getting the wall flatter. And that plastic is very rigid, it's very rigid. It's, so now we're just flattening, so obviously we've gotten flattened with the, with the Rafina spat. I must say that it's nice and flat, you know, it's nice to work on, it's nice to travel afterwards. It's actually, considering it's the first time as well, it's gone really well I think. So, you know, in terms of flattening afterwards, it's not much to take out. There's a few trail marks where the um, Spatch needs a bit of breaking in, but you know, other than that, that's it. And it's actually a nice flat base to work on. It doesn't seem to have much ripples in there, so all I'm really doing is just troweling, really, troweling a fairly flat wall, which is what they're designed for. Now, they have also got stainless steel blades. I'm not going to go into that in today's video. I need to break them in, and I need to decide if I actually want to use them to begin with. I'm coming on easy with flexi trials at the moment, so that's a journey I'm going to go on. I'm going to do that in the future. I'm going to test them out, but not here. My only real concern at the moment is the ankle clips. So like I said, this is, you can take it in about, you can change the blades. So you've got a little, I'll just put a hole in the ceiling. <laughs> you've got a little button there. These pop out and then, and then it slides out. Now. This is my only concern, it might absolutely fine, but I find that when you first get it, these are quite flimsy. And when you look at a lot of the ones on display, they seem like they're not properly in. So, but generally the blade looks like good quality, it's good plastic. And it's great that they, um, they are replaceable, because that's the thing Rafina didn't used to be able to do. So now they've got that, I think that's phenomenal. So that is back in, that'd be my only concern. And to be honest, other than that, I think it's a brilliant bit of kit. It's really, really good, and I really enjoyed using it. Price, that's top price. Okay, so that's the performance of the Rafina X skin. Great bit of kit, how much is it? Coming in at the website at 66 quid. Now, the speed skin for the similar size, which is 1.2 meters, this one's 1.1 meters, so slightly smaller. The Ox speed skin is about 58 quid. So it's eight pound dearer. Rafina are usually sky high in the prices. They usually market themselves as the best and they often charge the most. So I'm actually very surprised by the price of this right today. So far, I think it's got potential to beat the speed skin. I'm not even joking. I'm gonna keep using it now. I'm gonna test it for the next coming weeks. Probably come back to it after I broke it in once I've used it for a bit. But seriously, if I was Ox, I'd be worried because it's a great bit of kit. The price is good. The ergonomics is good and so far, the quality it's pulling off is great, so, you know, it could be good. If you want to watch a video on the Ox Speed Skin, which I do love by the way, click that here. Um, if you've got this new spat, let us know, leave a comment below, get involved in the conversation, and if you have enjoyed this video, subscribe here. Thanks a lot for watching, I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.